Hi, I'm back, <laughs> part two. I wanted to get this done because I've been procrastinating, putting off getting this done since last month because I guess I wanted you to, I wanted to be sure everybody was excited about it as I am, but I've given up on that. I just want to give this to you and give this out to you and see. I hope it's a blessing to you. Um, I wanted to develop Acts 17, but uh, my friend Camille told me, she said, we, you know, you need to go back to the beginning to really get the understanding, uh, to really have this thing blow up for you. And uh, so I decided that's, that's a good thing. We should do that. I want to uh, not be pedantic, but I want to I want us to grasp, try to grasp some of what God was giving us when he, as he gives us in the scripture, and we try to grope for an understanding, try to grope so that we can feel him, as it says in, in Acts 17. And uh, so think about this. In, in Genesis, in Genesis 1, 27, we have uh, one of those groupings in the in the Strongs. You have a grouping of words that are variations, and I won't murder the Hebrew uh, uh, from one night from uh, in the Strongs concordance from one nineteen to like one twenty two. You have groups of words that go around Adam or Adam and uh, Adim. Uh, they they have to do with humankind they have to do with the blood the, the blood and um even adam the name itself indicating this this blood in the face the the blood of god the the rootiness uh indicating the blood um or the rosy coloring so uh the flushing of blood so Thinking about that, we look at Genesis 1, 26 and 27, and they have the word man in them. And that word man is, is Adam. It's, it's that same grouping of words with Adam. And so we, we understand that what we use as a, a proper name that that this is this is an indicator of all mankind. This particular one, when he said, "Let us make man in our image, after our likeness," he's not he's not just saying, "Let us make a male." He's saying, "Let us make mankind. Let us make humankind in our in our image, after our likeness. Uh, you know, in the image of God, after His likeness." So he's he's saying this, and and um, he says in in uh, one in one twenty twenty six and twenty seven he says he says let he says that let us make man in our image after our likeness, hmm, in our image, in our image, in our in uh, the the shade, the phantom, the representation. Let us make man in our image, um, after our likeness, a model, a shape in the similitude. So when you have this spiritual being, this spiritual creature saying, I want to make creatures, I want to make, uh, no, no, he's not a creature, this spiritual being, and he's saying he wants to make creatures after his in his image after his likeness so if god is a spirit and god is invisible and god is a spirit yet he's making a creature after his like then you're getting you're getting something you're getting someone who is much more than just um, a lion a tiger a bear um so you you have this being, and he's creating this being in the these beings in his likeness, 
after in his image after his likeness. Okay, now you're going to if you look on into Genesis two seven, it says, and Yahweh God formed mankind. He formed humans at, uh, up out of the dust of the ground. And he then breathed, he, 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 he put himself, he puffed, he breathed himself into man. He, he inflated man, he inflated man, he gave man life. He breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. And he, the, and he became, and man became a living soul. Now, hum, humanity, humans became, a, this human became a living soul. He was now alive. He was now fresh. He was now strong. He was this, this divine inspiration, this divine intellect of God has been placed into this being. And now... This being is a living soul. Okay, now this is this is creation. Now we we get a difference in male, female when we start to look at in one when he says he made them in in Genesis one twenty seven when he says he made them male and female he 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 notes that one. The man is is nowhere. He's he's the one that was created first, and then you have the female. And this female, actually, the, this body that is created for the female is actually made to be penetrated. It's made to be to be entered, and so everything is orderly. Everything is made after that order, and and then but then you have another man. You have another definition of man and woman and and you start to if you if you stick with it you'll you'll come you'll come to this other definition which goes deeper even goes even more deeply and it's more specific it's more specific than this physical designation that's given by male and female in this in this in in uh, 127 and it goes deeper than the designation that's given to all humankind, all humanity by the term man that's used in Genesis 1, 26 and 27. Now we go to a designation in, in uh, Genesis 2, 23 that goes even deeper when you have Adam, Adam when, when the woman is brought to him, he says, now flesh of bone of my bone, flesh of my flesh, she shall be called woman because she was taken from man. Now now you get a you get a a more you get a more complex, a more developed definition because now we're looking at man. We're looking at man as not specifically as the male and you're looking at him being ish and this ish means to be, to be, to be, to extant. It, it, it's, it's, this ish means to be. And you have the woman, the woman, the woman is now isha, and she is to be. This is extant. So it's, this is the feminine, the feminine version of, of man. This is, this is to be extent so so we're talking about human beings who whether male or female all carry this designation of being created in the be, being created in the image of God because they're humans the ma the female is is you know cl clone taken i don't know she is taken from the male and uniquely shaped shaped to be compatible with the male and so now we have this humankind in this in this beautiful order and their but their designation is to be and and we're not going to get any change with uh, evolution or all this stuff because the bible says genesis 320 that eve is the mother of all living 
and science now tells us that that mitochondrial Eve, mitochondrial Eve, and they may use the term Eve as a joke, but we we literally know that Eve is the mother of all living. So whether you're black, white, brown, yellow, um, whatever variation, red, whatever variation you are of human, you are you have Eve as your uh, mother. She is the mother of all living. So uh, then we look at Acts 17.26. Acts 17, let's look at Acts 17.26. Um, well, I'm going to do like my son. I said 26, but let's start. <laughs> let's start early. Let's start. Let's say, let's start at 24. God that made the world Acts 17, 24, God that made the world and all things therein, seeing that he is Lord of heaven and earth and dwells not in temples made by hands, neither is worshipped with men's hands. Yes, lift up holy hands, but don't be deluded into thinking that he needs you because he, need, he doesn't need anything. He has need of nothing. He can cause the rocks to cry out. He can, he can make you lift your hands and worship him. He won't, usually, but he won't, but he can. Uh, so he has need of nothing, seeing as how everything that is came from him. He, he gave all life, all breath, all things. And this is the deal. He has made of one blood all nations of men to dwell on all the face of the earth and hath determined the times before appointed and the bounds of their habitation. God made everybody. Everybody has Eve as their mother. God made everybody. You know who her husband was, Adam. Okay, so Adam, Adam and Adam, here's this one blood. And if you have ever had to do a paternity test, you know they want the father, they want a sample from the father because the father's blood is what determines well, the, the paternity. Okay, now, so he made of all, he made of one blood, all. So Adam then is taken in here, all, ethno, all ethnicities, all ethnicities because we all, there's really only one race, and that is the human race. And we have these variations that have come from ethnic groupings and, and geographical adaptations and, and evolutionary adaptations, evolutionary adaptations. These are all, these all, but we all have one, one common progenitor. That's what science, science says. We have one common progenitor who is that mitochondrial Eve. Okay, now, that they should seek the Lord, and if haply they might feel after him, grope for him, and find him, though he be not far from any of one of one of us. For in him we live. Okay, that's our Zoe. We have our life. We move. That's our motion. Our kick, kick, where we get the they got this word this from this Greek word is where we get the word kinesthetics movement, and have our being as certain also of your po own poet said. For we are his offspring. For as much then as we are the offspring of God, we ought not to think that the Godhead is like gold or silver or stone or graven or art of man's device. So it is not somebody made him. We we are we are after a God that suits us now, but that's not the way it is. God made us. We need to get in line with his program. Now, let's go back to this 28. You live, okay, we got that life, our breath, Zoe, Zoe. We uh we we clean up we move but have our being. What does that mean? Have our being. That is not like any other have. That's not like any other being in 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 the Greek in the, in in the old in the New Testament. This being means literally. This have our being means we are. We are. So now, if we go back to Genesis and we were. To be, now in him we are. We are. In him 
We are. This is what Yeshua prayed for in John 17. This is what we're looking for. This is what he asked for. Father, let them be one as we are one. How is the, what is the only way, according to John 17, 11, John 17, 11, he says, and now I am no more in this world, but these are in the world, and I came to thee, Holy Father, keep through your own name those whom you have given me, that they may be one as we are. Okay? We are one. He's saying, I and the Father, we are one. Let them be one in us as we are one. Now, 21, 22, he says that they all may be one as you, Father, are in me and I am in you. And they also may be one in us that the world may believe that you have sent me and the glory which you gave me, I have given them that they may be one even as we are one. Can you get it? In him we are.